How's it going everyone? My name is Chips and in this video I'll be showing you how to build this turbo pen which was first seen in my Scorched Earth 100 Days video. This is going to be a step-by-step -step walkthrough tutorial with voiceover instructions so you can get this build on your arc. And on the screen right now you will see a full list of building materials you will need for this build as well as the map cords where I built it on Ragnarok. You can also find all of this information in the description below if you would like to quickly copy and paste it over to your own device. So now with all of that said, I just want to tell you all thank you so much for being here today, checking out this video, and let's go ahead and let's get to building. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is lay out the foundation for our build. Now we're going to be using Adobe Triangle Foundations for this build. As you can see, I already have one placed, so I'm going to come in here to the right of it and add six more to give us seven total. I'm gonna go ahead and turn here and take seven more in this direction. Go ahead and turn here and I'm just gonna continue doing this until I reach my start point. Now that we have that outer ring created, we're gonna go ahead and fill in one more ring inside of that. Next, we're gonna to come to any one of our sides right here in the middle between these two triangle foundations. We're gonna go ahead and get out a stone fence foundation. And the reason I'm using stone instead of wood is because the wood is basically impossible to see here in these foundations. I'll go ahead and place that stone fence foundation. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add three wooden pillars to each side of it. Now I'm just gonna go around the rest of the build and do that in the same spot on the other five sides. Here on the inside of the build, I'm first going to go ahead and get out an adobe double door frame and place it right here on one of these triangle foundations, and then I'll add an adobe wall on top. Go ahead around the inside ring here and do the same thing on each spot. Next I'm going to go ahead and get out an adobe stair and just hang it down from that triangle foundation. Now you'll notice there are multiple snap points you can get. I like to get the highest up one possible as it covers up those little wooden pegs. Next we're going to come in between a set of our wooden pillars and get out an adobe door frame. And we're going to go ahead and place this right here. Now you want to be careful because of that fence foundation, you're going to have multiple snap points. Just make sure you're getting the green side that is placing higher up. So you'll see this one is a little bit lower and this one is a little bit higher. We want this one. Go ahead and add an adobe window frame on top and fill that in with a wooden window. Go ahead around and do this between each set of wooden pillars. Next, we're going to come into one of our corners, and right here on this line, we're going to place a thatch door frame, followed by an adobe wall on top. Do that again right here. Then right down that center line, we're first going to place an adobe wall, followed by a sloped adobe wall right. And then we'll finish this part off by placing another adobe wall right here, and one more right here. So in the end, you should have something that looks like this. Go ahead around to each corner right here and around the build and do the exact same thing.
Next, we are going to start off on whichever side you have designated to be the entrance to the build. First thing we're gonna do is come in right in line here with this pillar on this line. I'm going to place a sloped adobe wall left. And then over here on this one, I'll place a sloped adobe wall right. Now I'm gonna move around to one of the other sides. And in that same exact spot, I'm first going to place a thatched door frame on each one. Then I'm gonna get out a wooden railing and I'm going to rotate the snap point using whichever key or button is appropriate for your system until you get this light blue side. Go ahead and place it and do the same thing right here. Then you can go ahead and get out your sloped adobe walls and replace those thatched door frames. Once you have that done, just go ahead and add another wooden railing on the front of these two foundations. So it should now look like that. Go around to the other four sides and do the exact same thing. Now here on one of our corners, we'll go ahead and get out Adobe Triangle Roofs. And we're first going to place one right here coming down like this, followed by one going up like this. Do the same thing right here. And then go ahead and fill in these bottom ones as well. So it should now look like that. Go ahead around to the other five corners and do the exact same thing. Next, we'll come in here to one of these spaces above our window frame and fill this in with Adobe triangle ceilings. Go ahead and do that for the other five as well. And now here in the middle, we're gonna create one ring inside of those with Adobe triangle ceilings as well. Here on the top of the build, we're gonna come in where we have this opening and hang a thatch ceiling in from each one of these triangle ceilings so that they all overlap each other. Then we'll get out an Adobe double door frame and we're going to be looking for this light blue side. So you may need to rotate the snap point using whichever key or button is appropriate for your system, but just make sure you're getting the light blue one. Go ahead and place that down and do the same thing in each of these spots. Once you have those placed, you can go ahead and pick up or destroy those thatch ceilings. And now with all of the thatch ceilings removed, we're gonna go ahead and get out a wooden railing. And you're again going to have this light blue side. Go ahead and place that down and add one more on top and do it in the other five spots as well. Now, once you have all of those wooden railings placed, we're gonna go ahead and get out a wooden triangle roof and rotate the snap point until you get it facing upward like this. And again, do that in the other five spots. All right, so now just a few more quick things to finish up the build. First of all, here on the side that is gonna be the entrance, go ahead and fill in that door frame with a wooden door. Then go ahead and place an adobe stair on these two triangle foundations. And then finally, we're gonna get out wooden railings again and come here to the top and just place a wooden railing on top of each one of these triangle ceilings. Now you'll see there are two snap points. It's really up to you. Just be consistent as you go around on which one you wanna place them on. All right, everyone, that is gonna do it for the building portion of this video. Now I am gonna go ahead and apply a quick paint scheme, do a little bit of decorating, and of course, bring in all of our tames. So do me a favor, stick around for one more second, and I'll walk you through all of that. All right, everyone, so like I said, I went ahead and applied a quick paint scheme, did a little bit of decorating, and of course, brought in all of our Jerboa. So first things first, for the paint scheme, I kept it pretty simple. Basically, I just painted all of the wood pieces with the mud color entirely all of their regions. 
So you have our doors, our windows, our pillars, our roofs there, all of that stuff, except for the railings. I left those alone as the mud killer just kind of shows up a little bit too dark for my liking. For the adobe, I painted all of the adobe, all of their regions with the tan color. So we have this nice contrast between a very light tan and the darker mud. As far as decorations go, I didn't do too much. I basically just brought in some clutter here on these outer patios, lit up the doorways with some torches, and that's pretty much it. Just some storage bins and some vessels throughout just to kind of give it a little bit of a lived in feel. You can see we have a few of our jerboa out here on the patios. And then as we head inside, I've brought in a few more here on the inside. We've just started packing this place out with jerboas. You can obviously fit a ton in here, but it's a pretty cozy little spot for them to live. All right, everyone, that is going to do it for this video and build. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope it was easy to follow along and get this done on your arc. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button, leave me some feedback in the comments below, and subscribe for future videos. But anyways, with that said, I just once again want to tell you all thank you so much for being here today, checking out the video, and have a great day.